What is happening, guys? Cowboy here, and we're back, continuing on. Let's see what we find in this place. I don't think we have a chance. Right. Oh, wait, that's a resistance. Oh shit. Get, God damn it, what the hell, dude? These things are just like smash, smash, smash. Just constantly knocking me down. What a freaking battle to start things off with. I haven't played in like a week, and that's what we kick off with. It's just... Jesus. Anyway, um, so a couple things I want to change up. I'm so focused on mastery, somebody made a point that... Um, one of these somewhere increases mastery gain on items. Equipment skills learning speed. Let's do that. Uh, do, 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 do. Where's it at? Stagger duration. But that skills learning speed. That. Oh wait, that's the iron stance. Does she have the other one? Highest total enhancements equipped. That's the one I want, is heightened halberder. Have that, so for now. And that's for you. Let's go learning speed and another one. Upgrades, there we go. Alright, so with all those on, we should be able to knock out our there sure are a faster. lot of Molochim posted here. They're probably here to protect the Therian, right? One would assume. The exorcist controlling them can't be far then. Be careful. 
Get out of my way, you hunk of junk. Cats. 320 cats. I do not have that many cats. Alright, come here, armor. I don't think we have a chance. It's martial arts. Back up. Into the group. Victory is ours. Heaven's wrath. Rapid combination of kicks from multiple angles. Okay, let's work that into our list. Something probably works directly into that. A moonlight Cyclone goes into Heaven's Wrath. Moonlight Cyclone. Swallow Dance. I like... Do this. What does this go? This goes into Searing Edge. Shadow Flow. Shell Splitter and Grounding Strike. So that's a water move and a wind move. This is a wind move. I don't know where to put it, man. I gotta figure out how to use um this. I keep mentioning that, but I still have not done it. Figured out what I'm supposed to do. Moonlight Cyclone. Just go Moonlight Cyclone into Heaven's Wrath. I like Moonlight Cyclone a lot. That's a nice multi-hit move. It's a combo builder. Solid damage. Some AoE potential on it. Works well. I don't think we have a chance. Oh, dude, the kick chains are fucking silly. There's the AoE. I'm sitting there like, where is my AoE at? It's because my party is like... You... Miss me that right. Call this this team Office Sets Hero. I mean, like, honestly, it's not that I don't like Aizen for It's just that having Wagyu, who's dropping out crazy AoE, and having Lava Set, who's grouping them up and dropping out crazy AoE. And then. Eleanor is also doing AoE. It just, it's just, it's synergy, dude. It's so much synergy with this team. That combo does look really cool. Boom, 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 boom. And then the back flip to the slide in to the flip up to the We're kick finished. down, like let's go. It's pretty dirty. And it looks badass. 
What level am I at anyway? 37? Oh, you guys were mentioning that it goes uh, all the way up to 60 in terms of like getting arts. Like the last art is like 67 or something like that. I mean, I don't know how much side quest stuff I'm going to do. Just because I need to be done Tales before October hits and the onslaught of games begins. Guessing we gotta go down here. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, another area. Yeah, let's go check out that front room and see what's over there. I'm guessing it's locked. It's probably like a locked door, and I have to go down these side paths first. Maybe not. Maybe it's completely open. Then, then what's the reason of going down the side paths? All exorcists, some looks like merchants. Okay, so I, point is I can't go that way. Now it makes sense. Undead days. surf around. Oh, missed the cats. Seeing if the other chest is all the way over here. Actually, it looks like these rooms don't connect. I don't think we have a chance. <laughs> So many Stop hits. Oh, my God. 
Still more. Let's fucking die, dude. We've wiped out everything. All right. We got the chests. We got the bad. He's dead. These ruins... This feels like a sad place. Sad? In what way? Sorrow permeates this place. As if left behind by people who suffered torment and death. I guess that's a weird impression to get by just looking at some ruins, huh? I'd trust my feelings if I were you. They'll often lead you to the truth of things. Besides, what you're feeling would explain a thing or two about these ruins. It would? Rather than attempting to impress visitors with beauty and opulence, the building and its passageways were built with strength and stability in mind. And that means... They were anticipating volcanic earthquakes. And they expected that someone might turn violent in these passageways. Not a bad observation. And what would bring such savage people to these halls? Surely they weren't just passing through. Then this passage must have led to somewhere. Some room or structure deeper within. A prison for the worst criminals. Or maybe a battle arena. And that's what gave you a sense of sadness. If it was an arena, then treasure for the victors might be hidden away somewhere. Why would it be hidden? Well, those fighter types might not have been all that nice. And the people who built this place seem to have been the cautious type. Hidden treasure, huh? Where do you think... Uh... Save your speculation for another day, you two. We have a Therian to find. Right. Sorry. Ah. Uh. Aizen's getting all excited. So, about that treasure... Aizen! Ugh. <laughs> we'll talk about this later, Lafayette. All right. Aizen's got treasure on the mind. Are we ready for this? Uh, week two. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. Sending K. 
Kitty cat! Snuck out somehow. See, I don't know how Rokuro got out because I had. He wasn't set to be out. And I pulled out Eleanor, and then he somehow came out again. And I don't think the orders were set to allow them to auto-swap out as they see fit. Oh, Wait a minute, I thought I hit that though. Did I hit that? One over there? Or did it just move off one and onto the other one? that up so fast. different fires we've lit so far. Woo! It's a biggie! Chest already, right? Can I go? 
yet, or is there still no door still sealed? Huh. See if this has changed at all since the ward or if it's still there. No. There's gotta be something I overlooked on this side. And maybe there was a flame down here that I just didn't see because I came in and immediately decided to check out the other side of it. Cat's box earlier. This Nordal. It looks a lot like Grimoire and Bienfu, but there's something different about it that I can't quite put my finger on. I agree. Those two are positively gloomy, but this doll seems calming, yet glamorous too. Like I said, a quiet radiance. Yeah. You think so? I think it's more lethargic or absent-minded. Like, I can't tell what's going on in its head. Either way, I'm a thousand times cuter than that thing. What's cute about you? People who keep their faces covered are creepy. <laughs> I don't know. There's definitely something off about it. It's charming, but a little ominous. Like, I can never entirely be at ease around it, if that makes sense. You think so? Actually, I think it's cute. It reminds me of a little baby. You think this looks like a baby? I remember when my sister was about as small as that doll. She had the tiniest little hands, and she tried to grip my pinky as best she could. Really? I'd take my pinky with her fingers wrapped around it and poke her cheek, and she'd just be all smiles. I swore to myself I'd always do whatever I could to protect her. Once she got a little older and started fixing meals, lots of weird things began to happen around us. Wherever we went, she was in danger. Demons attacked us. A dragon tried to kidnap her. That's when I first realized what it was that I carried. That the cause of all my sister's pain was my blessing. My reaper's curse. So... You left her behind, and went on your search for a way to break the curse. Right. And that's when I met Eifried. It was from him that I first heard about the Nordals. He thought the stories about them were all just baseless rumors. I guess we'll never know for sure unless we gather them all. But... Hmm? What is it? I think something good will happen once they're all together. Why do you say that? Well, because we found this doll... You shared some of your past with us. That makes me kind of happy. So I think we should get the other three, so more happy stuff happens. <laughs> Hard to argue with you there. There was no, uh, no thing over here. Lantern. So I am not sure. I had to have overlooked something. I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's probably going to be best we'll wrap this episode up for now because I'm going to have to run around that basement area and see if I can find what it is exactly that I'm missing. 
mean, I'm sure there's just a thing somewhere that I just overlooked. Once I find out where it's at, we'll be good to go. But no point just running around and, uh, you know, not having extra progress to be made. So anyway, we'll close out this episode for now. Uh, later today, we'll end up finishing up this area. And we will catch you guys then with more.